knowledge, teamwork, and game smarts. These are the ingredients turning your everyday players into tomorrow's professional gamers. But to truly appreciate the future competitors of esports, we need to pay homage to the moments from the past. Arena Esports takes you on a trip back in time to enjoy the greatest plays from the world of esports. In mid-June 2019, a massive 287 qualifying players from around the world locked in their decks and took flight to Las Vegas, Nevada in order to make a big impact on the next Hearthstone Masters Tour live event. It was a three-day tournament with a half a million US dollar prize pool attached. Excitement was in the air as the competitive world of Hearthstone entered its Year of the Dragon, laying out new playstyles, cards and win conditions in the famed Blizzard Entertainment card game turned eSport. The player count dwindled down to a handful as more mechanically gifted individuals emerged from the ranks. Chinese Taipei's Tom60229 and Japan's Possessi took the top spots in Group A, removing Europeans Fenomeno and Kallax from the tournament. While over in Group B, North America's Gallon and Dog reigned supreme over Switzerland's Hypno and Ukraine's Neria in their fight for playoffs progression. Oh! He could get Doomsay! Is there? It's almost it's Kat, because of Kat 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 oh my God. <laughs> That is insane! <laughs> and Hypno will fall to Dog. Dog moves on to the top four. And for the David Caro, simply known as Dog, is a longtime Twitch streamer and has been competing in Hearthstone since 2015 with strong results. The respect that they have for each other. Who will be? He came to Las Vegas with his three variations of Mage and defeated Tom60229 in the event's best of three semi-finals bracket, finishing off with a 2-0 result on the famed Freeze Mage deck. But ultimately it's Dog who's having his day. Thousands of players online. His opponent in the finals would be the relatively unknown up-and-comer at the time, Edward Goodwin, who slammed through the brackets with his warrior variations under the gamer tag of Gallon. You want your first deck to drive the game plan because you are. Bombs went off in the semi-finals tiebreaker after Gallon used a brawl to wipe the board and his opponent. And the card slinger was certainly going to bring the fight to his American counterpart in the Las Vegas Grand Final. By a score of every minion that he draws from that Both players had their heads down for game one of the Grand Final series. Dog was able to get out the all-important Luna's Pocket Galaxy on turn four, which reduced the cost of all minions in his deck to one mana. Kali Ghost reduced the cost of his spells, while a Mountain Giant created a terrifying board presence. Gallon fought off Dog's first wave of minions with a brawl, but ultimately, the mage player's discounts proved too overwhelming. In the final moments, he turned to bombs for a saving grace. Yeah, I think at this point, you All right. recognize the splitting image. Still is just a problematic card, but the fundamental thing that he needs right now Here we is go, damage. Dan. Here we go. Needs all three bombs in the deck to be drawn in a row. Ah, well, it looks like I, I, I'd be hard it was a battle of snip snaps in game two until Gallon obtained a huge advantage. He coined Dr. Boom Mad Genius on turn six, setting his mechs up with Rush for the rest of the game. Dog was losing out in the war of mechs. Better late than never, Caligos came out on turn 10 to help kick his mana discounted minions into motion via a free pocket galaxy. A slam into a brawl got Gallon out of a very dangerous Conjurer's calling situation, but it was all for nothing when Alexstrasza came out to play. Dog won the minions game to put himself on Master's Tour point. Stop the damage from coming in, and he doesn't even have a way to stop this damage from coming in. He can big game hunter one target, and that's it. He can't even lethal himself. Yeah. That's a concede. Dog is on tournament point.
An early weapon meant Gallen could slip bombs into Dog's deck in the third game of the series, but a turn six Kadgar into a Kundra's calling threatened the warrior player once again. Fights two Darius Crowley's. With so many board clearing options, Gallen was able to flip the switch. An Omega Devastator followed up with a Zilliax wiped out key cards in Dog's arsenal. Bombs finally did the work they were set out to do. A final brawl cemented Gallen's first victory in the Masters Tour Stop Grand Final and his first step towards a reverse sweep. You want to be contested back for second. Wasting no time jumping into the fourth game, Dog picked up that vital Luna's Pocket Galaxy on curve. This was the exact card needed on turn five. Under the pressure of falling victim to several deck bombs, Dog managed to get his Archmage Antonidas on the board, which lasted for several turns. This generated a Firewall card every time a spell was cast. Frost over to collect Fireballs. When paired with the 15 health battle cry of Alexstrasza and his opponent's minions' frozen place, Dog perfected the Frost Mage recipe. That Antonidas punishing Gallon here in this spot. He Dynamatic is drawn, so he needs to shield block into exactly Brawl. But yes. then he still dies because... No, no, the, the two minions that summon from Snips now. No! Omega Devastator one mana off. I don't think it would have even mattered. He needed exactly Brawl. The Snip Snap was so good for the positioning as well. There's no out here for Gallon. He concedes! We have a champion for our first... The win earned Dog 100,000 US dollars and the title of Masters Tour Las Vegas Champion. Another glorious live event from the history archives of Hearthstone Esports. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.